Hello guys and welcome back to this YouTube channel. And in today's video I will be illustrating my views and offering my opinion on why Silverstone must remain on the Formula 1 calendar. But let's get straight into it. Now it's fair to say that Silverstone is indicative and plays a part in Formula 1's history. It staged Formula 1's first ever race in 1951 by Giuseppe Farina. And just from that point there, you can tell that Silverstone is indelibly marking F1's heritage. Yes, it has undergone changes throughout the years, removing some iconic corners from the track like Bridge Corner, but still, its bravado and presence is infectious towards F1 fans and British motor racing fans. Other classic Silverstone moments include that 2003 race where a man was running on the track in the opening stages of that race. Of course you have the fans favourite Lewis Hamilton winning there five times and just, you know, lighting the place up. I mean to be honest, the list is endless. But what else makes Silverstone so special? You can make overtakes, you can have exciting racing at Silverstone, which is what F1 is certainly working towards in this modern day and age. It possesses passionate fans who come out and make such a loud noise supporting their favourites. I mean in Nigel Mansell's era of racing, the crowd was run out onto the track when he was winning at Silverstone, it was just mental to witness. And of course you have Brand Hamilton spiralling the five time world champion and everyone at that event just wants to get involved with Hamilton because he's just such an iconic figure to Silverstone and F1 which really keeps the British Grand Prix alive. But of course in the past few years there have been talks about Silverstone being dropped from the F1 calendar. For me this is an unfathomable decision which could turn into a re reality. But if Silverstone was to be dropped from the calendar what would the alternative options be to host the British Grand Prix and carry on its relentless heritage. Well first off I have Brands Hatch and any 70s or 80s F1 fan will know a lot about this circuit. It had an era of hosting both the British and European Grand Prix so it isn't a stranger to the F1 circus. And the track has maintained its map, it's just still the old Brands Hatch we know and love. I am going to be totally honest, I love Brands Hatch to bits, I mean Paddock Bend is a great way to start the lap and the real gist of Brands Hatch is just such an immense experience. Yes, it also contains some real passionate fans who just travel around being inspired by their favourite drivers. However, I believe there are two issues with F1 going to Brands Hatch again. Firstly, I believe the safety rating of Brands Hatch will be on edge. It is very hilly and to me can be very, very dangerous. And I know motor racing is a dangerous sport, but I just think Brands Hatch would need slightly re-innovating to have a status to be returning to F1. And as well as that, I believe overtaking possibilities will be cut. Dirty air in this modern day and age of F1 will just be dominating the races and for me just won't be that good to watch. However, another option would be Donington Park. Of course, it has only hosted one F1 race, that being the 1993 European Grand Prix and just playing host to one of Ayrton Senna's greatest drives in the wet. And again, I love Donington. I think it is a very, very good track, but the amount of overtaking possibilities I think are going to be minimal. Not just with the number of corners, but just how narrow Donington actually is. F1 cars nowadays are just so wide. And again, Donington would need redesigning to play host to another F1 Grand Prix. And for my last option, I have a London Grand Prix. Now from Liberty's POV, this would make total sense. An F1 race in London, okay, it wouldn't be as much as an F1 race in America, but still, that is going to be more dosh than you would get from Silverstone. That, for me, would be a given. However, it would ensue chaos around the city. You would just be building blocks of chaos. And even for a weekend, I don't think the people of, of London are really going to like that idea. And secondly, I do not rate that track. There are, again, a lack of overtaking possibilities and we don't want F1 fans from England who don't watch it to turn on to see a London Grand Prix which is dismal. Put it this way, would you rather an F1 Grand Prix be hosted at one of the best tracks 
in the continent or would you rather an F1 Grand Prix be hosted at a race where it's just going to attract people around a city? Because I know for a fact the first option just has the whole package, great racing at a purpose built track and it, I think it's a much superior for the sports of F1. But at the end of the day the people at fault for this calamity if you will for this era of F1 for me it's got to be the owners of Silverstone for really reaching out for that dodgy deal. A deal which could lead Silverstone's future reputation to be in tatters.